Hey everyone, um, John here, it's another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master, and um, in this video I just want to give some updates um, on my gaming, on my games. Um, my Thieves World campaign is coming off to a great success and it just keeps rolling. Um, players are really being engaging and really trying to come up with things and really trying to be neat and cool and really um, contributing a lot. And um, this campaign's really shaping up, I think, to quite possibly one of the best I ever ran. Um, kind of really glad the approach I took to this campaign um, of kind of more of a of giving more for the players to do. Um, so in, in that respect, it's a little more sandboxy. However, I mean, I have my story and I have my world, you know, focusing more on the setting and more of things in the setting, which I, I like. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's great. And it's good. Like I said, it's a great difference of where I'm going, um, you know, how I've kind of adapted, how I've changed as being a DM over the years. I am not the DM I was four years ago when I started for the first time. Um, Um, anyway, on that note, actually, um, I'd like to share a bit of a brief experience, uh, kind of a little funny issue I had, um, in last week's game. Sorry. Um, last week's game, um, there was, the party was coming up against, um, they were exploring this dungeon. It was a prison dungeon. And they were coming up against um, a door that held the prisoner they were supposed to be busting out. Busting out a prisoner. And um, I needed an excuse for them to go see the rest of the dungeon because I had some other stuff planned. So I basically created this little trap and it was this basically this steel looking door with hinges and everything, only it doesn't have a handle on it. It's just kind of this door. And they tried busting it down and I think how until they read some runes that were on the door. And the door it basically they translated the runes and I said this this door is key lock, which very funny. It was we all had a laugh because it's just like ah translation error. And they spent like oh, I didn't spend like thirty minutes, you know, half an hour puzzled by this door. Till eventually, you know, it's like it's part of the trap. Once they find the key the Door will materialize, the handle will materialize to them. But yeah, it was fun. It was just, it's one of those little tricks that I just kind of came up with to get the players to explore the rest of the dungeon. Bit of railroading on my part, but cool stuff, and you know, there was stuff I needed to get across. And that kind of brings me to my topics. It's kind of why it's like I, I want to hear stuff um, from you guys out there that, uh, what kind of stuff have you done like that to get players to explore the rest of the country? It doesn't have to be strict that railroady, but, um, you know, like just goals, you know, have you played with characters' ambitions? Have you played with characters, you know, like, have you played with their curiosity? And yeah, so that's what I want to hear on that front. Also, um, I think of what else I want to say. Let me look at my notes for a sec. Also, um, if you would like to, I guess I'll open it up. I guess I'll put a link in the description. I started uh, using a service called Obsidian Portal. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a website kind of thing where you can keep, you can track your uh, campaigns that you want. And it's very cool, you know, you can put session recaps there, and, um, you know, the players can set up forums, and you can keep track of the player knows, you can give players secrets, and it's cool, it's really cool stuff, um, I guess I'll put a link in the description for that if you guys want to check that out, because, um, there are some more stuff there that I really, I, not that I don't want to get into it, it's just stuff that I don't feel like getting into in videos. I might eventually. But yeah, uh, check it out. Check out the service. I think it's really cool. Um, it's a good way to keep track of things because even like as a DM, uh, 
I forget things all the time, so it's nice having a little service. It's nice to break the stuff down and stuff is fresh in your mind. But yeah, um, it's a cool little service to check out, especially if you guys are running like long-term campaigns. Which, um, getting a feeling this might become a long-term campaign for me, at least whenever I'm in town. Like I said, I am starting college soon, and yeah, you know, my life's changing. However. Stuff might change. Um, but yeah, so I'll definitely put a look at that. I'd like to know what you guys feel like to know how you guys keep track of your campaigns. That's always a little thing. Um, well, that's about it. If I think about it, I'll have to make another video, but that's about it. My Thieves Swords campaign is going great. I love it. Love how I can't, love that I decided to go with this idea. Loving how different it is, loving the approaches I'm taking to it. Hell yeah. As always, I'm Jelen, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master. And as always, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, happy gaming.